Alright, hey guys, what's up? So, here I have another duel, which um, I was actually narrating at the time. But then once I finished the duel, I realized I didn't actually have my headset plugged in, so I was just talking to myself uh, like a weirdo. So, the deck is Red Eyes Hieratic, and the idea came from AU1996, uh, 1093, sorry. Um, I, I said the name wrong while I was narrating live too, so I do L E into uh, Heavy Storm. So, I mean, um, here I make a big misplay, because I do L E for Storm, so he knows I have the Storm. So it's obvious he would want to bait it out, so he sets a monster and then sets a back row and passes back. And here I Heavy Storm. But um, obviously, he's not going to commit too much to the board, and there it goes. The mystical space typhoon, and he knows I'm playing um, hieratic, so they don't really play too much back row. Like um, one of the changes I made, I took out the reckless greeds and went for treacherous trap hole. I also have galaxy eyes because that card's really good with Atom. You can summon Atom, summon galaxy eyes, and then. Galaxy Eyes can clear any monster on the field and then it'll come back with full attack. And if that happens to be an Xyz monster then it's going to come back even stronger so that's pretty good. I also have Exploder Dragon in here. That card's really good too because you take no damage when it attacks so when you summon it with zero attack it doesn't really matter. So here I, I do some special summoning and I get um, the two red eyes out and because I decided that I'd have to go in a little bit because he's obviously going to have those back rows in his hand probably and here I decided to just destroy it with Dragosack instead of going for Big Eye because I don't know what he was playing yet and it turns out he's playing Fire Fist and there, that's why I really really regret using the Heavy Storm because obviously he's going to want to set loads of cards and you'll soon see that he likes to do that so Port of Avarice it's looking pretty good because um, I actually have six monsters all together on the field and in the graveyard. So if all this goes wrong, then you know I have put of Avarice. But the only thing is, he's using the newer Fire Fist, so he's most likely using the new Xyz monster, which you know has the effect, which is very similar to my Dolce Queen Tiramisu. And um, so yeah, that's that's a danger right there. And yeah, this is where he really starts to turn the duel around. I wasn't exactly winning loads, but you know, I got the 2200 attack in, which is pretty good. And when I was tired and I commented on Ayuk's video, I said, wouldn't Infernal Fire Blast suck in this deck because they summon with zero attack? But then when I went back and read it, it said original attack, so yeah, uh, original attack um, of Red Eyes is 2400, so that's pretty good. But uh, Red Eyes can't attack, but your other monsters can, so this deck really uses that to its full potential, which is really good. And yeah, so he's doing some stuff. He shuffles away some monsters, and that goes the Drago Sack because it can't protect against effects. So he takes away my last token, leaving me wide open. So you know, what are we going to do now? So he's going to go ahead and set another one, I think. Unless I was the other turn. Yep, he sets another. But, yeah, here I draw into the Infernal Fire Blast. Now I'm kind of like, oh no. So I actually have four monsters in my graveyard now. So I summon Tefnut so I can get another one in my grave. Which then will get me a couple more draws of Pot of Avarice. Which is kind of what I need right now, because Red Eyes is kind of dead. But the thing is, Ayuk, hopefully you're watching this, because I remember you said, who's going to normal summon Red Eyes, or something like that. So here I draw into another Inferno Fire Blast, which is annoying. And so I have exactly five monsters, so I can shuffle all, all of those back, and then get myself some new cards, which can hopefully help me turn this duel around. Let's look at all those back rows. So here I draw into a monster which can special summon itself. And another one which can special summon by tributing. So I summon Tefnut. 
and he says that's fine. Cause that, I now think that he actually only had fire formation traps, and they don't really do much except for stopping battles with their high attack boosts and stuff like that. So I get the red eyes on the field, I summon this, and that means he's going to take 2400, but because I have two, that means it's a lot of damage for him. So that's going to leave him at 1000 life points. If only, it would have been really cool if I had the third one in my hand, but oh well. So, you know, I have two monsters on the field, so let's tribute them, summon red eyes black dragon from my hand. That's how we do it. And then uh, I get myself a second red eyes. But of course, Red Eyes Black Dragon can't attack this turn unless it was the selected one, but I think it's um, all Red Eyes. So here I'm gonna. I was debating on. I wasn't actually thinking of going into Gaia. I was just. You know, that's an option, but that wouldn't have been a very good one because I know he has the Tencent. So that's why I just risk it with the big eye, and he, he gives me the monster straight away. Um, when I. I was kind of thinking I should have summoned it in defense mode, but when he was checking my grave. It was probably because he was clarifying all the effects I did were right. And then he just gives up there. And that's the game right there. So, thanks for watching. Um, Red Eyes Heretics is pretty cool. And yeah. So, see you guys next time.